this little device can connect practically any Bluetooth enabled controller to a Nintendo Switch. This is a must have accessory for any Nintendo Switch owner who either prefers a PlayStation 4 DualShock controller or an Xbox One style controller, or even for someone who has a random Bluetooth enabled controller just laying around their room and they don't really feel like coughing up $69.99 plus tax for an official Nintendo Switch Pro controller. Don't get me wrong though, out of all those controllers, my favorite is the Nintendo Switch controller. Don't mind the dust. <laughs> I love how it feels, the contour, the shape, Everything on this controller just fits perfectly in my hand and feels so comfortable. I think it's the best one out of the big three major consoles out there, but I've always thought it was way too overpriced. So with that said, this little device is called an 8-Bit Do. I mentioned it in a video that I posted last week. The video was called, How to Tell if Your Xbox One Controller Has Bluetooth. So click that card above, somewhere around here, if you want to check that one out. But anyway, it comes in this little box. It looks like a little flash drive or in this case, a Mario Block themed flash drive. The unboxing is really simple. It comes with the 8-bit do right there, which in a sense is a little Bluetooth dongle and an OTG cable. I believe OTG stands for on the go. It's a really old term, but this is a really useful cable because it allows the device to read data from a USB device without requiring a PC. So in short, it becomes a USB host. So for handheld mode on the Switch, it just connects via type C right there. You see this connector? It just connects via type C. There's little instructions in the back, so make sure you peel that off. And then you're able to connect the 8-bit do right there, pop it off to the USB end. Just that simple right there. But if you have the switch docked, it isn't really needed. This can just go directly into any of the USB ports on the dock. Before I start syncing controllers, on the Amazon listing, the following devices are compatible with an 8-bit do. Obviously, Nintendo Switch, Windows operating system devices, Mac operating system devices, Android TV boxes, Raspberry Pis, and Retro Freak systems. Compatible controllers that work with this device include 8-bit do's line of controllers and arcade sticks that have Bluetooth, Xbox One controllers, post-2016, or any model that came out after the Xbox One S console because those controllers have built-in Bluetooth, PlayStation DualShock 3 and 4 controllers, Wiimotes, the Wii U Pro controller, which is a classic and I hold this controller dear to my heart with all the dust and everything. <laughs> and if you're using the 8-bit do with another device other than the Switch, you can get Joy-Cons or the Switch Pro controller to work on that device. So the focal point of this video is to pair random controllers with the Nintendo Switch. So before you get started, the most important thing you can do is actually get the Nintendo Switch turned on. I'm gonna turn the lights just a little out of the way. Go to system settings. So in the system settings, you're gonna wanna go to controllers and sensors and right here where it says pro controller wired communication you want to make sure that's turned on so with that little warning right there keep that in mind and it's that simple get everything connected the first controller that I want to try is a PlayStation 4 DualShock controller. Fun fact, this is actually how you get this controller to get into pairing mode. And besides the 8-bit do, if you have a smartphone, a tablet, laptop, or anything with Bluetooth, you could essentially pair a PS4 controller with that device. So this is how you get into pairing mode. Really simple, all you do is press the PlayStation button and the share button. Then you get that blinking light right there. When the PlayStation 4 controller is at that rapid blinking, that means it's in pairing mode. So with that enabled, you're just going to grab the 8-bit do, the pair button's right there. There you go. You see the controller icon popped up right there. And this should be able to control Nintendo Switch. Um, let's do everybody's favorite game. I know a lot of people probably utilize this for playing Splatoon or Smash Brothers. Oh, can't press X because on the Nintendo layout, A is on this side and B is on that side. so. A's right there. So you have to remember, it's not the PlayStation layout, it is the Nintendo Switch layout. While well, it's loading up. A, B, X, Y. A, B, X, Y. A, B, X, Y. The controller vibrates like crazy.
So let's see if everything works. Left, right. There's jump. Throw. Shield. Dodge roll. So everything seems to work. Heart attack. So, so far so good. Let's test if the PlayStation button works. Or actually, in this case, the Nintendo Home button brings you back to the home menu. Uh, keep in mind, only one controller can be connected to one 8-bit do. So if you want to have multiple controllers, you got to have multiple 8-bit do's. So here's the PlayStation controller. Let's try another one. So here's the Xbox One controller that I bought recently from Wish. Click that card above if you guys want to see that. Got this for an amazing price of $32. Crazy, right? All right. So let's get this back into sync mode. You saw my Xbox, or heard my Xbox turn on. So turn on my TV and everything too. What a shame. So here is the sync button up there. You see it flashing. We'll do the same thing with the 8-bit do. Right there, press the button and that's flashing. And it's connected so make sure you have an xbox controller that has bluetooth i also have that other video i mentioned earlier on how to tell the difference between the xbox controller with bluetooth and without so clearly this one has the bluetooth because it's connected and there we go we are connected once again let's just jump back into smash back to the same game pause let's go to quit let's go to a smaller level so you can see everything working So, there's left and right, here's all the strong attacks, there's the grapple button, shield, shield roll past King Dedede, Y, X, weak attack, So let's see if the Xbox button works as the Nintendo Home button. There you go, back to the main menu. So as the list goes on and on, the Wii U controller. This is one of the most underrated controllers, I think. No one likes to mention this anymore, but this is like one of my favorite controllers to play fighting games with. All right, so here's the sync button. Here's the... 8-bit do button and just like that we're back at it well this should feel familiar for smash players right <laughs> all right so left the right analog stick up down grapple shield shield roll jump Jump. Weekend. Looks like we're good. Pause works. And good old home button. So that works too. Wii U. I don't know why anybody would want to do this, but lastly, let's get some batteries in here under. Batteries work? Yeah. Alright. So. I shouldn't have done that, huh? Let's get the sync button. Hit the do button. And for those of you who want to be really nostalgic with the Wii. Left, right, up, down. Ideally, you'd want to put an attachment down here, but 
just to prove that it works. And good old home button right there. Oh. So all these controllers work on the 8-bit too. Got Wii U Pro controllers to Wii Motes to PlayStation and Xbox. I'll drop a link down below for those who want to check it out on Amazon. Other than that, have a great day. Check out these other videos and I'll see everybody soon.